Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and today we are booking television, part one. Today we'll be recording Championship Wrestling and All-Star Wrestling. We are in the first week of November of 1987, and some interesting things have been going on in the game world here. Obviously, I skipped ahead from our last video, and um, just so you know, I got a lot of contract negotiations out there to try to get further enhancement talent for us. We're starting to use the same guys, excuse me, too often. And we're also going to try to land Tom Zank. Uh, he did come into the AWA after he left the WWF, so this is realistic. And as we're looking at shuffling around our roster a little bit here, Tom Zank's probably going to be a good guy to have on it. Until he goes crazy again and does something stupid and quits us. You never know. <laughs> Also, in the game world, I happen to notice that Continental Championship Wrestling is no more. I don't know when it happened. It says it happened in October. I guess I didn't notice. But Championship, I'm sorry, Continental Championship Wrestling is also known as Southeastern, owned by Ron Fuller, is no longer. The WWF bought it out. And you just saw in the last episode how we had the CWA created the heavyweight title. They rebranded to the Championship Wrestling Association. Well, there it is. Jerry Lawler has won the CWA Heavyweight Championship for the first time. So actually they had a show, a CWA show. Let's see if their tag title was decided to. It was not. So the tag title is still uh, still staying vacant. And um, that's the status there. So let's move ahead to our television taping here. Let me show you the Excel sheet while this is going through. Our main event is going to be Scott Hall and Nick Bockwinkle. I can't recall the last time that we had them face each other, especially on TV. So we will have it here. All right, we can draw up to 8,200 fans, but I would like to stay at Old Faithful here. which the name escapes me at this second. Was it the Sports Pavilion, I think, was the name of it? There it is, the Minnesota Sports Pavilion. Yep. We're going to go ahead and book the Sports Pavilion for our TV taping again. And let's check to see if we got any issues backstage. We got one with Zabisco and Tolas. Zabisco has taken Tolas as a protege. All right. We're missing quite a few workers tonight. It doesn't look like very many with consequence. So we will go ahead and get booking here. And naturally, it shifts up on us again the last couple times that we did television. It was championship wrestling that was first. Now this time we're booking all-star wrestling first. So what are you going to do? You just never know what you're going to get. So in our opener, Shirley Black is going to... Do the favors for Vivian Vachon. Let me make sure I read that right. Yes, Vivian St. John. It's going to be a three-minute bout as usual. And there we go. So Vivian St. John gets the win. And for those of you that may be new to the channel that haven't seen our previous television tapings, we always have two women's matches for the television taping. So every other week on TV, there is a women's match. And again, for those of you that, that don't know, we just go down this list right here for the women's. So the next time we have women's matchings, matches, it'll be Jamie West and Reggie Bennett. So moving right along, we got Baxter and Houdini. Who are going to face the Texas Hangman? We're going to see Baxter's hair, that crazy wild hair he has, and none other than the great athletic talent of Houdini. Just look at that guy's look. That is a million-dollar look. 
All right, the Texas Hangmen are back in action here on television after a couple weeks when Psycho had an injury, and Big Psycho is going to go ahead and get the win here. They are managed by the great Don Carson, who has worked out very well for them. Mad Mountain Mike, not to be confused with Man Mountain Mike, is going to face Steve Olsonowski. Olsonowski getting some television work in here. He needs every win he can get. Even though he and the Assassin have been doing very well working as a tag team on the touring schedule. So see that? At one point, Olsonowski had chilled momentum. And he's now at warm, so that's good. It's a good sign. Olsonowski with the victory. Mad Mountain Mike was a big dude. Stevie Butler is going to face Ali Khan. And our Afghan communist here is going to get the W. Steve Butler had a pretty good mustache. I hate to see good mustaches lose, but in this case, we have no choice. All right, Ali Khan with the W, and he is cornered by none other than Sheik Adnan LKC, of course. So Todd Becker is scheduled to face Mike Graham. Mike Graham is not available for the bookings. So we're going to go ahead and sub him out, and let's take a look at who we can sub him out with that's available. We can go ahead and sub him out with Alan West. Why not? More TV time for Alan West, the better. Three-minute bout, of course. There he is, West with the win. Back to TV here. So we got Baron Von Rotschke and Wahoo McDaniel are going to give a promo. It's just going to be a three-minute promo, but it should be just fine. And of course, their promo, even though I almost spelled Pormo twice, <laughs> is going to be on Dick Slater. And if you remember, we are using none other than Eric Bischoff now, and their promo is going to be on Dick Slater and Bobby Duncan to keep those feuds going. There's Wahoo McDaniel. There's we're All Star Wrestling. We're using Eric Bischoff now, who is not rated, and both Wahoo and the Baron are going to be rated on microphone. And here's Dick Slater. Well, we'll go with Bobby Duncan and Dick Slater. And they are off screen, off screen. So they're still going to talk about them, but they're not on camera. So that promo is booked. Nacho Barrera, who is a fan of this YouTube show. My man Nacho is going to get stomped here by Wahoo. Nacho's been at this for a while at this point. He knows what's coming. Wahoo probably respects him. Mr. Barrera, if you're watching this and you're willing, please leave us a comment. Let us know what it was like to wrestle Wahoo. I'm sure you wrestled him many times in your career. And it would be a pleasure to hear from you and about your experience in real life. So Wahoo gets the win in this squash match, of course. And our next promo will be done by Jerry Lawler, who is has a golden microphone. Jerry Lawler is not in any official feud at this point, so he's just going to have an open promo with Eric Bischoff. And Eric Bischoff is just there. I'm sorry, he's on screen still. He's just not rated. All right, so we're booked. So Bischoff's holding the microphone. Tom Benninghouse 
the future Tough Tom. He's going to battle Jerry Lawler here. I like Tom Benninghouse. I think he was a good worker. At this point, though, in time, he's just cutting his teeth, and he's doing the right thing, getting experience here. And as I've said before, he would also play one of the Texas hangmen as Strayler, uh, Strangler. As Psycho was out, I considered putting him under the hood, but I didn't want to confuse the fans. All right, Jerry Lawler gets the win on TV. Nice, short, quick TV win to make Jerry Lawler look like a million. Scott Hall and Karen Hennig are going to cut a big promo here. I clicked the wrong thing. This one's going to go six minutes. These two have been all over the place in scores for promos, so we just never know what we're going to get with these two. Let's go ahead and get Eric Bischoff there. And then we're going to get Nick Bockwinkle and Larry Zabisco. So there we go. So Kurt Hennig. Let's see what we can do well with him on. I'm pretty sure he has a good microphone, good promos. We know Scott Hall does. He does. He has a really good promo on the microphone. So both Hall and Hennig are going to be rated on microphone. Bischoff is not rated, but on screen. And then Zabisco and Bachwinkle are going to be off screen. And our big main event here. It's going to be Duncombe and Slater versus Hall and the World Heavyweight Champion. And this one goes 14 minutes as always. We can plug in the two tag teams here. There's Duncombe and Slater. There's Hall and Hennig. We're going to have Big Scott Hall get the win here. And let me think about this one for a second. See, Scott Hall's going to face Nick Bockwinkle next. We may pull Scott Hall out of there and put somebody else in there. Bockwinkle would win by cheating. You know, Hall and Hennig are super hot right now. It's not going to hurt Duncombe and Slater for Hall and Hennig to get a clean win. So let's just go ahead and book that one out. We're at the max, 65 minutes as always. Let's see how this one goes, folks. We're going to start the show. Nice little ladies match here. 31 overall, not bad at all. Shirley Black actually got a much higher score than Vivian Vachon. A little surprising. All right, the great Sean Baxter and Houdini get beat by the Texas Hangmen, who continue to improve in popularity. These two are good together. They're a good team. Got Mad Mountain Mike versus Steve Olsenowski. Olsenowski wins with that backflip. He scores a 69, not a bad score at all for Olsenowski. Ali Khan is improving, but a very poor score for this one. As expected. Alan West gets the win. You can see Alan West is improving. Hits that big press slam. He gets the W over Becker. There we go. A nice 74 for a three-minute promo. Not bad at all. 66 overall. Not bad for a squash match. Thank you, Nacho, for doing a good job. Nice score right here. Lawler scores an 84 with Bischoff. Very nice. Well done. Lawler gets a 70. 92. Man, is this guy good right now. Wow. We got a 69. So, again, we're just lacking there, and I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Both these guys are super over. They both got super high ratings for microphone. I don't understand why they have a hard time cracking in the 70s. So they are definitely hurting the overall score of this show right now. So let's go to 86. This one should save the day. 
Scott Hall gets the win with that crucifix powerbomb. What a devastating move. This is a very nice main event score. Scott Hall actually scored the lowest with an 80. So, well done here. This should save the day for All-Star Wrestling. I expect a big score here. And it is 78. We improve in all 12 regions. Very nice. Let's finish the show, and we are moving on to Championship Wrestling. Go ahead and make the adjustment. Otherwise, chances are good I might book the wrong show again. <laughs> so we got Jesse Hernandez versus the terrorist Jack Victory opening this one up. This one goes three minutes, as always. There is Jack Victory, and the terrorist gets the win. Segment is booked. Patrick and Starr versus the Russians, who of course are managed by the dastardly, dastardly Sheik Adnan LKC. And what you just saw there, folks, was me forgetting to Make a mental note of who the Russians were wrestling. This happens often. You should be used to it by now. <laughs> There's Mike Starr. Shut up, OneDrive, and leave me alone. All right. There's the Russians. And, of course, we're going to give this win over to Soldat Ustinov. Of course, the Russians are going to get the win. The whole point is to get people over on TV. Mike Richards is going to battle Billy Robinson. And Robinson is probably going to rough him up and bend his joints and potentially injure him. Billy Robinson was not a nice guy with enhancement talent. What the heck is Richards' first name? I forgot. Mike Richards. That's what I thought. And he's not available. See that? So we're going to have Mikey Jones fill in for him. The very fit and agile Mikey Jones. And of course, Robinson's going to get the win here. Tolis is going to face Colonel De Beers. Tolis with his gangster look. He is definitely the guy you can go to at the local diner in the corner booth and get your down payment from your house if you need at a 60% interest rate. That's definitely who Mike Tolis is. <laughs> Where's Colonel De Beers? There's Colonel De Beers. De Beers is going to win with that nasty pancake pile driver. As I've said before, I like Ed Wiskowski. I like Colonel De Beers. So there we go. We had Mikey Jones booked as enhancement already, so now we got to change it up. We're going to exclude already booked. So that'll help us here. We have David Price, Teen Wolf, Wolfman Jr. He's going to face Jerry Blackwell. Blackwell, of course, is going to get that win for us. And we're only a couple months away from Blackwell starting his own promotion here. Southern Championship Wrestling. All right, that one is booked up. Blackwell gets the win, of course. We're going to try something different here, folks. We're going to have Mr. Saito cut a promo. We're going to see how this goes. And, of course, it's going to be against Bob Backlund. So we got Mr. Saito. Larry Nelson is the one that will be hosting on this, and we're going to put Bob Backlund in there. Of course, he's going to be off screen. And we're going to go ahead and take a look here and check out some of Mr. Saito's ratings and see what we can get the biggest number on him off of. So, he is 
a little rough here to figure out what he's going to be best at. His charisma's star quality is pretty good. Let's try star quality. See what that does. And we're actually going to give Larry Nelson some mic time here. See if that doesn't help the promo overall. It's already got a lot going against it here with it only being a three-minute promo. But it's worth taking a shot and trying some new things here. So we're going to have Mark Young get whomped on by Saito. No break dancing for Mark Young here. Maybe at the beginning, but definitely not at the end. Because Mr. Saito is going to put him down. Saito is a bad, bad man. And also the reigning IWGP, IWGP heavyweight champion in the game. All right, we got another Scott Hall promo going here. You know, let's take a look. We're going to change this up. We're going to have Assassin, the Assassin in the main event against Nick Bockwinkle. So we're going to have, we're going to change this up here to just have Scott Hall cut a promo on Larry Zabisco. Because that is going to give some heat to the upcoming match coming the next week. So on the fly changes here, folks, but that's how we're going to do it. Five minutes it is. Scott Hall. Larry Nelson. And then Larry Zabisco. Larry Zabisco is going to be off screen. Scott Hall is going to be on microphone. I don't see any reason to have Larry Nelson on this one. And we are booked. So we're going to have Tom Burton and Terry Ellis versus the very fine Guerrero brothers. And you've heard me time and time again sing the praises of the Guerrero Brothers. And they are going to get another TV win here. And there is Hector. And we're going to have Hector go over on this one. There it is. Nice three-minute match. And the young Burton and the young Ellis will probably learn something from this match. This will be a golden promo. Nick Bockwinkle is going to swear his revenge. Bockwinkle is cutting a promo on Kurt Hennig. He's going to swear his revenge. There's Larry Nelson. And there's Kurt Hennig. I don't need to do anything there with Larry Nelson. That was an error. It's Kurt Henning that needs to be off screen. There we go. This one will probably be golden. We're going to have the Assassin versus Bockwinkle. We're going to have it go 14. And as you know already, the Assassin is already running his own promotion, Deep South, Deep South Wrestling. Some of our wrestlers work for him. Nick Bockwinkle is going to get the win. And of course, he's going to cheat to do it. And there we go. This should book up. Championship Wrestling. We are good. Let's go ahead and get the show started. The terrorist gets that win with a pile driver. We're going to make a note of that. Too many pile drivers. That's another note from before. I got to change in the title histories for version 7.0. Make a note of that, and then we'll make the change off screen. I guarantee you, Jack Victor, he's tired. He's not. There he is. Yep, of course he's tired. Russians get the win here. That's a nice score for Zhukov. Doing pretty well here. They're coming along very nicely. Billy Robinson gets the win with that double arm suplex. 
Very nice. Over Mikey Jones. De Beers gets the win with that pancake pile driver. Nice 71 score here for only a three minute match. Excellent. Jerry Blackwell scores a 71 here, a 60 overall against David Price. Very nice. The only knock there was Price getting an experience, it being an experienced. All right, we tried with Saito. It didn't go very well, but we at least advanced heat on the storyline. So 57 on that one. Like I said, we tried. Saito scores an 81 there against Mark Young. Very nice. Very nice. Scott Hall gets a nice score here on his own, a 77. So obviously when he does a promo with, with Kurt Hennig, it's Hennig that's uh, sandbagging him. So we'll have to figure out how to fix that. The Guerreros only get a 54 score overall here against Burton and Ellis. Let's see if there's any knocks on the Guerreros. There certainly shouldn't be. You got plenty of experience. Yeah, it's all on Burton and Ellis. Nothing against the Guerreros. So that's good to know. Whoa, whoa, what a promo. What a promo. 95 overall. Wow, what a promo. And I expect this main event to go into the 80s also. So let's go ahead and get there. 81 overall. Excellent. Excellent score. This is an excellent show right here, folks. Very nice. I expect a pretty decent uh, score maybe in the 80s here. Overall for the show, let's take a look. Uh, 78, but it bumps us up in every single region. This is really nice work for a, a show versus uh, full of squash matches. Excellent. Good job by, by Nick Bockwinkle. Terrific. All right, and of course, we're going to come back on another episode tomorrow with you folks, and we're going to go ahead and do All-Star Wrestling again, and then we're going to do the second championship wrestling. So I went ahead and make, made that notice here. So we're good. And that's going to be for the second week of November. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode. It's always fun doing TV tapings because there's always some kind of variables involved here. Somebody can't make the show. We've got to sub them out with somebody. It's a shame Mike Graham couldn't make this because we're trying to push him as a baby face here. But I get it. The guy's running his own promotion, at least for another month, because they're going to shut down in December. And then Mike Graham's going to be all ours. So again, he'll be on the prowl for that World Light Heavyweight Championship. So if you haven't done so already, folks, please subscribe to our channel. Please give us a like. And please share this video with your friends. Share it all over your social media. Share it on your copy machine at work. Put it on the bulletin board at work. When you go to the bank, if you still go to the bank, tell the bank teller about the show. Uh, talk about it at the bar. Talk about it at the dentist. While you're at the barbershop, you're like, hey, guys, you got to check out this YouTube channel. So <laughs> help us get the word out there, folks. I appreciate all of you watching today. We're going to be back tomorrow in action. If you would like version 7.0 and do not have it already, please go to braddrake.net. Go ahead and contact me. I'll be more than happy to send you over the Google Drive link. That'll give you not only the picture pack, but also the database. And facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. That's facebook.com slash groups slash 1987. Come join us in the conversation about the supermod with everybody that's playing. Thanks again, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.